It's kind of stupid. All right, so I have two things to hand out today. The first thing is like a list of topics in AP Calculus AB. Thank you. Yeah. I, just, this, I just printed this directly off of the uh, <laughs> Shut my name. The, uh, College Board website. So I just printed this off the College Board website. Um, and so I thought that maybe what you could do is just go through and make sure that like you know what all the stuff means first of all and then uh, just think about each type of problem and and what it might look like I mean that way you, you can kind of communicate to me the things that you're not really strong on okay or comfortable with just keep in mind that there's also some BC topics on here like if you go to the third page um, like 6.11 it says BC only. Like you can tell those topics is it actually says BC only. On the actual website, it was shaded a different color, but it's hard to tell on this copy. So you just gotta read it that way. Okay. So this is not for you to do necessarily right now, but you you definitely want to look at this at some point and and let me know if you feel like there's things that you're weak at. I have things planned like periodically, um, you know that I think would be helpful to you, but things that you think are helpful to you would be the most helpful to you, probably, right? So that's something you just wanna think about over time here. You got a little bit of time, but you wanna do it before too long, okay? That's this. The second thing I have is just a problem set. And both of these things, by the way, are posted on, on uh, Google Classroom. So if you ever don't have your your paper with you, you can always just refer to it on your computer. But um, I definitely, you know, I definitely think it's easier to work on problems on paper. So um, maybe try and bring this handout with you every day. So the, this handout is going to be due in its entirety on Monday, um, and on Friday this week we're going to have like a little practice exam that are basically the questions that are missing from this practice test, okay? So I basically took an entire test, and I was like, one page for this pile, one page for this pile, not looking at the questions at all. I just separated it out that way, and then I gave you half, and I kept half, and I, I'm taking the test questions from the other half, okay? Um, don't try and like find this practice test online so you know what the other questions look like. And that would be stupid, right? Because honestly, grades don't really matter. I just want to know like how we're progressing. So don't do that. That's a bad idea. Yeah. So are we? Is this like the only type of homework we're gonna have? We're not gonna tell some math or anything. Yeah. So oh, there might be some delta math a little later on because he does have like a little review thing on there that I think is pretty good. But uh, for the most part, it's gonna be problems like this. Okay. So um, I think the structure of like the next few weeks is gonna be. You get a packet like this on Monday usually, um, and then Friday we'll take a practice exam, and then in the in the intermediate time, I'm going to give you time to work. We'll go over things periodically, and we can have, you can ask questions. I might pair you up occasionally to like talk to each other about certain problems or um, or topics, and then that's it. And then we'll just sort of just hopefully work on speed and accuracy all right I, I feel like everybody sort of has a pretty good base at this point but you got to work on completing problems like in the time that's allotted and being like really accurate about the problems that you should get right you know that's really important that you don't get questions wrong that you should definitely get right so um th those are the things that i really want to focus on in the next few weeks and i think you guys should be really confident about how things look but um you know, we'll get more confident, it'll be even better. Any questions? Okay, so for today, just get started on this handout um, independently, or you can work with someone if you, if you like doing that. Um, and you can look at your topics, the list of topics, and start like circling stuff that you think I should go over or whatever. And then every day I'll just see if there's any questions and um, maybe do a little something because I have. A couple of really useful things that I've gotten over the years, like um, 
list of common mistakes and um, like the I have a, a list of like the hardest multiple que multiple choice questions that have ever been on an AP exam. I think those would be good to go over just to see like why people thought they were hard and stuff like that. And hopefully we won't think they're that hard because we've been doing hard ones all along. Okay, so that's all that's all I had planned for today. Any questions right off the bat or you just want to get started? <laughs> 